missing. Boop! He ain't gonna hit me. Boop! He ain't gonna hit me. What's good? I'm gonna hit you again. Bow! Try to hit me again. See what happens. Try to hit me again. See what happens. Boop! Right in the face. Hey, bro. Don't let him hit you. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your boy TJ, and you already know what time it is. It's time to play some Hog Wars Legacy. <laughs> yo, so in the last episode, we. What did we do? We ran around, did a bunch of stuff for people, explored the school a lot, and then met up with Sebastian. And went to Hogwarts, or not Hogwarts, Hog Hogmeads. That's right, that's right. Um, in this episode, we're about to explore Hogmeads. Well, kinda. I don't want to like spend too much time exploring, but at the same time, I don't want to neglect exploring. I don't know. It's a whole process. But no, basically, that's what we're about to do. We're about to continue the story. So you already know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every single time I post. Remember, it's absolutely free. If you're not enjoying my content, you can always change your mind later. And whether you're ready or not, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to do it anyway. Let's do this. So what we got going on? A <laughs> little black cat over here staring at me. Don't... I saw that in the background. <laughs> hey, uh, I got rewards. It, I read that at the bottom. Field guide pages. Hey, I got me some spectacles. I'm about to be seeing everything. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not putting glasses on my dude. I don't wear glasses, so he ain't wearing glasses. No, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I already recorded this first part. We got all kinds of issues going on with my stupid ass computer <laughs> um but luckily i didn't record that much so i already know where a couple things are i think i might be tripping oh i just got some leech juice sounds kind of gross oh i got some more and some more hey okay i didn't know that was there that's new to me but no, I'm about to just go and collect the things that I had collected previously before all this happened. If I can even remember where the heck these things are. Okay, I didn't come up here. Hey, there's a Revelio page up here. What the hell? What is that? Revelio. Oh, chocolate frogs. I know about those because of the other game. Um, likely left behind by a Hogwarts student visiting Hogsmeade. These enchanted confections hop around like real frogs, and each come with a collectible card featuring a famous witch or wizard. Nice. That's actually pretty dope. I've never seen that before, so that's that's pretty cool. Oh my god, it's you again. I can't stand you. Look at the way, look at him. Mean mugging the hell out of me. Bro, keep mean mugging me. Mean mug me some more. Bitch, I hope your eye hurt. It's gonna turn red after a while. I just cast a whole spell on you. You're gonna be blind. Alright, what what was I saying? You know what? I, I don't remember what I'm saying. This was this was about to happen. I gotta visit Tombs and Scrolls, uh, Ollivanders, J. Pippin's Potions, and the Magic Meek. Well, I'm about to go to Ollivanders, because I know about Ollivander from the movies. And that's where I can get my wand. I'm about to get my wand. I almost didn't even see you. Ch hey, there's a chest right here. Hey, I didn't even see you at first. Where are you? Lumos. That looks familiar. I could have sworn I just passed that. It's back here, right? But where? Oh, there it is. Hey, whoa. I didn't even notice you. You better stop jumping at me, ho. I just got done shooting your brother in the eye. I'll shoot you in the eye, too. Hey. Let's go. Wait, I'm about to say it. That had to be right. Yeah. Okay. Look at me collecting these field god pages. Ollivanders. <laughs> there you are. There's a bird. I'm about to say it's another it's another page. Oh! It is another page. <laughs> Ain't that something? Ollivanders wand shop. Wands of variety. That's a lot. I'm not reading all that. <laughs> Let's go in here. Hello? 
Hello? Anybody in here? Hey, look at this. 25 cent. I'm about to be rich. I'm about to have all kinds of money. Let me get my wand. Use. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. You don't know me. You don't even look like the one in the movie. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. About time. <laughs> well, you're what? a new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, y'all see his outline truly. in the background? Now, I know I'm not me. the only one. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? My bad, mm, I need to pay attention. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Ah, uh, green, because I'm a Slytherin, yes. right? That's a mm. long box. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm, you might do. Yeah. Ten and a half inches. Give this one a try. Ten and a half inches. I don't know, my boy. That Go don't ahead. look long enough. Swish. I'm sorry. <laughs> How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good. Yo, you're about to make all, me have a seizure. <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Told you it wasn't uh, big enough. Uh, I need a bigger one. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. That's too big. <laughs> Let's give this one a try. You wildin'. That's too big. Oh. Oh, oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> like I said, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. Thirteen inches too long. Oh, perplexing. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. You're going green boxes today. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm talking way I too much. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Crooked spiral dark gray. Is that my wand? 11 and a half inches. It's longer than 10. <laughs> Apple wood, phoenix feather, slightly yielding. I don't understand any of that. Um, I mean, I understand the wood type and I understand the, uh, the length but the core and the flexibility what why does my wand have to be flexible um oh I can make my own wand yo okay so this is my wand hey yo so I got a stalk dark brown chestnuts the wood type dragon heart string is the core type it's whippy whipping in the kitchen or something like that I, I don't know the song <laughs> And then I, it's 12 inches because you know 10, 10 too short 13 too long 12 just right <laughs> It's stupid Let's go <laughs> What do you think? That's a big one And it matches me just right Extraordinary Yeah <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Let's go. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Almost definitely. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. 
Do come and see me again if ever I can be of further assistance. I'm about to create a bond with my wand. <laughs> I'm over here. I'm over here rhyming. A bond with my wand. Uh, I'm about to be. I'm about to be whipping hoes with this wand. Look at this. I got my own wand. No more. No more hand me downs for me. I'm all original. Oh. Uh, found me some money. There's a broom and a. Hey, those are things from um from Quidditch, right? But they said Quidditch wasn't gonna be in the game. They might be playing games with me. It better be in the game. Like I said in the last episode, if they don't drop it as DLC, I'm I'm complaining. So what we got going on over here? What's this? Okay. <laughs> Chopping wood. Oh. Hey, here's Pippin's potions. Looks like I done found my thing. Hey, it's a flu flu flames. Alright, let's get away from her before she starts talking. Fantastic. Let's go in here. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. I saw that. I saw that. You're gonna have to wait, homie. Revelio. Hey yo. J. Pippin's potions. J. Pippin's potions established in 1753 is the apothecary of Hogsmeade with propri propriet proprietor sorry Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients fantastical all right um hey there's a another one of those stupid ass chests but there's also a uh, a page outside I'm gonna have to go to that in a second but I'm also about to rob you because you know why not Highland scarf Let's, hey boost my stuff let's go Oh, I'm weak. Seven defense, ten offense. Neckwear. Oh my goodness, that went up seven. My offense. I'm about to be killing hoes. <laughs> I'm about to start smacking people around. Let's go. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. It's Parry. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Do -ba, Professor do -ba, Weasley do -ba. sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, You'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. Hmm. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? Of course. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Do you have Wigan Weld? What can I do for you today? The Wigan Weld potions. I need some Wigan Weld. These things. Yeah. Temporarily un unavailable. It says you got three of them. Whatever, I don't care. I need to be able to heal. I'm not trying to die. Let me get my free stuff. A oh, wise decision. Thank you. We can will. Hey, I get to make Feel my own. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Yo, your shit is expensive. Oh, these aren't. Not worth it though. Give me those Wigan welds. Oh, I only have 187. Never mind. I'll be back. <laughs> I will be back. I hope to see you again. Of course. Farewell for now. You won't see me again. I'm gonna be your best customer. You sneaking up behind me. I'm gonna be your best customer. Buy all your Wigan Wheel potions. That's it though. Only the Wigan Wheels. <laughs> Alright, I got 13 right there. Boop! You thought you wasn't gonna be seen, but you were seen, weren't you? You were synced. Alright, uh. Boop! You were synced too. I saw you earlier though. Where's the, um, where's your little buddy that I saw? Is it down here? Yup. I ain't even gonna deal with you. You gonna make me mad. You gonna be on my shit list, just like the um 
the, ar the armor stand dudes. I can't stand those things. Hey, look, it's the magic neat. Isn't that the other one? Yeah, it is. Uh, do I want to go there yet? I'm enjoying my exploring. Oh, hey, look, a goat. Oh, no, sheep. I said goat. My bad. Let me go. <laughs> hey, I see you up there. Let's go. Hey, it's eight out of eight. Another one. Bro, what's up with... Why is he staring at me so hard? Bro. <laughs> yeah, Humpy's staring at me hard. All right, so ain't nothing back there. I guess I'll go to the Magic Neep. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. I like his beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. It's a long beard. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Hmm. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. Pippin purchases. What say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Pippin. Let me like guess. Scotty You're Pippin. after something fresh. That'd be cool. So could, well, obviously not. Shut up. I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna just shut up. <laughs> Dittany seeds. Do have a look around. I'm, Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. I'm not buying nothing. Maybe later. But I got things to sell, I think. Can I sell these? Without, like, making a fool of myself? Uh, Prefect's vest uniform. Defense goes down. So, yeah, I'm selling that. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Of course. I'm going to sell that. And that. And that. Oh, that goes up. I got me some gloves? How did I not know? No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Of course not. Hey, I got gloves and nobody told me. How are you, how are you just gonna let me have gloves and not tell me? Oh, it goes up 10 too. Oh my goodness. I'm about to be smacking hoes. <laughs> oh my Michael Jackson shit, those white gloves. Take that shit off, bro. Oh, I got extra gloves. Yeah, let's let's go gloveless for right now. I want to see my thumbs. <laughs> oh, we in the graveyard now. Let's not do nothing stupid. I don't want to be disrespectful. Ooh, a chest. I say that as I'm stepping on graves. I'm a good person. I swear. Yes, I may be a Slytherin, but that don't mean nothing. It do. It do. I'm probably gonna be an asshole the farther in I get. <laughs> That's just me though. Uh, but for the time being though, I'm gonna be a sweetheart because I want to make a better name for Slytherins. Everybody hating on Slytherins. We be hating on Slytherins. We the cool ones. Just because we got Malfoy. Hey. I got that. But just because we got Malfoy and his idiotic self. Hey, another one. Don't mean nothing. Rebellion. I'm over here finding stuff. Abandoned shop. The prop prop prop. I'm not reading that. Um. Hey, there's one of those little those paintings in there. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Lumos. Okay, I can find that. There's a bag back here. Hey, a wiggin' wheel potion. Let's go. I'm about to stack up on those. I got nine of them. Oh my goodness. Ooh. New robes. New robes. Let's see what let's see what we got. More mayor? Oh my goodness. My offense is jumping. I'll take it. Oh, it's right there. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. The heck? Lumos. Don't run away from me. Let's go! Why oh, the music turn off? Am I too far away? Yeah, I was too far away. Let's go back in here. Yeah, my dude look cool as heck without the cloak.
Let's go. Give me my field page. Yeah. Hey. Level 9. Let's go. I'm over here. Progressing in the world. Shoot. They might as well add me to the team. Progressive. Let me sell some car insurance. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm over here saying some of the stupidest shit. <laughs> Dogweed and death cap. That sounds dangerous. Let's go inside. Ooh! Come on inside. I'm not listening to you. Watch I saw that. Yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. I'm gonna check you out. What do you mean, leave here alive? Revelio. You're gonna make me leave. The dogweed and death cap tree. Guide pages. This large tree was with winding branches. Oh my goodness, my reading. Um, supports the do the shop dogweed and death cap. Ah, oh, so you're trying to tell me if I knock this down, the building gonna fall too, right? I might. Bro, I'm getting sick and tired of y'all. Look at you mean mugging the hell out of me. What's good? I'll shoot you. Go blonde, just like your friend. Boop, boop, boop. You know what? All right, I got it out for you. I got it out for you. And the um the armor stand dudes. Where you're aiming that thing? I've easy access to deadly plants if you hadn't noticed. Girl, I ain't shoot you. I can though. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. You old. You got you got you got the rest of your life to live. I'm gonna talk to you though. What's good? Hello. Oh hello. Whew. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a tizzy. <laughs> tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. Uh. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tree. By the way. Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. I'm gonna call you Beatrice. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cat. What's up, Beatrice? Oh, uh, mind you, don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, Mandrake? I wouldn't need to stop so familiar. many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear up. Mandrakes. Man, man. It sounds familiar as hell. Isn't it those little things that scream? Someone died here. Aye, she said somebody died here? Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? She brushed that off. I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. She hella brushed that off. Somebody died here? Let me see your wares. What do you have for sale? Somebody didn't die out here. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? I don't want none of your sh your shit's expensive. Man, these are mandrakes. Yeah, from from the show is when they pulled those things out and they started screaming like crazy. Ha! <laughs> I remember that. I ain't trying to go go Doors deaf. Always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Uh, okay. I'm not trying to go deaf. I am about to steal whatever. Oh, this field gate. Field, field, field guide page. I'm looking for a chimney. Bet. I got you. Ah, there you are. Lumos. And there's another one of those stupid. Okay, those, those chests are everywhere. Those things are everywhere. But look at that. I'm about to give me another field guide page. Ooh, and there's a chest over there. I almost missed that. You're not here for a knot grass sprig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. That's fine, I don't need it. Hey yo. Yeah. Give me the field guy page. Fantastic. Bet. 8 out of 15. Let's go. Sprint, boy, sprint. Sprint like you ain't never sprint before. Use them legs. Ignore the cat. Even though it's kind of cute. Hey. Let's go. Hey, I'm in the middle of everything. Hey, it's Honey Dukes, like I said earlier. So I told you, it's a candy shop. Uh, I'll go. Ooh, I saw that. Revelio. I'll go in there later. Oh, I know this gotta be one. Revelio. Let's go. Hingis, Hingis, whatever of Woodcroft. This statue is of a Hufflepuff. Hingis of Woodcroft. Believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade, after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. So Muggles don't like us, huh? That's the vibe I get. Seems like we always either talking trash on Muggles or 
something. It's always something mean. It ain't never nice. Rebellion. Bro, I'm about to be getting all tons of people got pages. Glad rags, wizard wear. Not reading that. That's way too long. What's in here? Actually, I I can give me some new clothes. Let's go. What up, bro? You ain't. You ain't gonna. I heard that. You ain't gonna talk to me. Ah, behind me. Hey, yo. Mannequin. Okay. Hey, level 10. Let's go. I'm getting getting HP in this bitch. Uh. Okay, Storm. You just copy and oppose the other one. You ain't original. You ain't cool. Oh, another one. Rebellion. Let's go. A sneaker scope. Sneakoscope is a type of dark detector that and will spin and whistle and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution. However, as it as it will alert the untrustworthy to the user's presence almost instantly. So that proves that I'm not a bad person. I'm a good person. That right there proves it. I mean, I may be stealing from y'all. Oh, bro, come on now. Let me. I'm about to leave. I'm not about to deal with that. <laughs> hey, look. It's homie. Oh, he ain't talking to me, so I'm not. Oh, it's because I need to go get the dang thing. Let me go put this on real quick, though. Because I did just get me something. Dang. Time is flying. Hey, I got a jacket. Poacher coat. Don't need it. What's this? Tartan vest, school uniform. Oh, yes. I'll rock the grays. Let's go. That's nice. I like that. Oh, yeah. Alright, so homie's not talking to me, so I obviously need to go to visit tombs and scrolls, wherever the heck it's at. Go inside, bro. What you hesitating for? An inquiring mind. An inquiring mind. Why are you talking like that? Oh, what else you... What's this over... Hold on. I heard that. I heard that. Rebellion. Where's that? I heard that. I'm not tripping, am I? I must be tripping. Whatever. What's this? Hey, yo! What the? Get it! Yo, there was a page up here the whole time? Yo! Hey, your chest. 52 gold. Let's go. I. Okay, I keep on hearing that, but I don't know where it's at. I'm, I'm gonna talk to you in a little bit, uh, Mr. Brown. But. Oh my god. I'm ignoring you. Another scarf, huh? Let me raise my, my offense. My offensive prowess. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Okay. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. I did that of perfectly. course it is not without <laughs> complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. Of course. That's certainly something to aspire She's to. She's a Mr. Weasley. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. That'd be cool as heck. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Heck yeah, hold on. Let me get those. Nothing like finding just the right... If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, based off oh, of this first thing I see... Better go and find Sebastian. 
Based off of this first thing I see, there's no way I can afford that. So that's a no-go. But I will sell to you. And make some money back. I'm not getting nothing for that. I'm not selling it then. And I can't upgrade it? Just get rid of it. A pleasure doing business. A, p a pleasure not you having to give me money at all. I that my tongue twisters. <laughs> Potting table with large pots. Bubble. Actually, that doesn't sound terrible. But I don't even know how to use that stuff, so I'm not worried about it. Not right now, at least. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Maybe later. You'll see me again. Oh, that's cool. Bro, wouldn't it be so cool to be able to use magic just to get certain things done? See, like, if I'm trying to work on something, but, like, if I knew magic, I could, I could make my magic do the stuff for me while I work on something else. That's double tasking. That's called working to my advantages. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh, I saw that the second I walked in. Hello. Rebellious. I saw that the second I walked in. The three broomsticks. I'm trying to progress the story, but I'm over here still exploring. I got problems. <laughs> Zonkos. Oh, I get it. It's a um, it's a joke shop. What's this? Bewildering can of mystery. Okay, whatever. Rebellion. I must say, I heard that. Let's go. A dung bomb. A favorite among pranksters. I'm not really a prankster, so I don't really care. Where are you at, bro? There you are. Hey, yo! You ready to go? I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Why well, sound so formal? Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. What's going on? Yo, that's a huge bitch! Oh my god! Get his ass! Get his ass! Overwhelm him! Oh. Uh oh, he getting way too close. Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! Yo, who's that Nanny McPhee looking chick? Who's gonna try to kill me? Yo! 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 Okay, okay. Oh, we gotta fight this big motherfucker? An armored truck. Woo! Woo! Oh, he's slow. He's slow. He's slow. Yeah! It looks like it. Slowly. Woo! Dodge. Dodge. Oh! Dodge again! Dodge again! Dodge again! Woo! Oh my god! Leave me alone, bro! What? <laughs> Get you in the face! What's good? Woo! You ain't gonna hit me! Woo! You ain't gonna hit me! What's good? I'm gonna hit you again! Bow! Try to hit me again! See what happens! Try to hit me again! See what happens! Boop! Right in the face! Hey, bro! Don't let him hit you! Oh! Boop! Oh! Dodge! Oh! You ain't hitting me! You are not hitting me, bro. Did I just pick him up? Boop. I got him. <laughs> Yo, I picked him up. Yo. I'm strong as hell. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourself. Heck yeah, and it was easy I too. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? Why did he say we that? Are, and we were glad Merlin's to help. Merlin's beard. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. Oh, really? If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Ah, so Nanny McPhee is a is an officer. That's why she's dressed like that. So I gotta I gotta repair some stuff. That is not the right button. Oh, hello there. Repair. There we go. Why 
Why you go in there? So you're just gonna leave me to clean all this stuff up by myself? You know what? It's fine. I'm cold at what I do. I'm cold at what I do. Like I said, yo, somebody completely destroyed the statue. Oh, somebody. What am I talking about? The homie completely destroyed the statue. Bro, you don't understand how handy that would be. To have something like that. This thing for Officer Singer to worry about. One this thing for Officer Singer to worry about. There you go. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. Don't arrest me, Officer. Hey, I just took down a full a full grown troll. Kinda with Sebastian's help. <laughs> oh yeah. This is my test right here. Big old building. Let's go. Speak to shopkeeper. The one that he went inside to? Alright. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Oh was he? You same motherfucker that wouldn't talk to me earlier. So now you want to talk to me. All right then. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow Give me that to attitude. myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. The rightful state. I was state. happy to help. <laughs> Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something. Much more useful. I don't like his voice. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. For real? You give me something for free? I'll always take free. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? I just risked my life. Plenty for your perusal today. Yeah, I'm getting Take free stuff. What's this? Traditional. I don't want it. It's weak to me. Bro, what? Do I. <sighs> Alright, it's a, it's a gift. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad. It, would it be bad if I sold it right back to him? No, I am not. <laughs> I'm not about to equip it. It's about to make me weak. No, come on now. Equip. Go back. Let's go. <laughs> was I quick enough? Please tell me I was quick enough. Stop talking to him. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Makes sense. Perfect. Three broomsticks is just this way. Makes sense. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be Yo, inclined? Yo, it's literally telling me to sell welcome it. welcome to peruse my shop. I'm gonna say, because I don't need it. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'm broke now, so. <laughs> I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're around. Stop talking to me. I'm broke now. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that on. Oh, yes. Oh yes. Oh no. That is ugly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, um and then for this one? What do we got here? My favorite color is blue. I like I like the bow tie. It looks kinda dirty though. Yeah, whatever. My stuff then hopped up too. Let's go. All right, I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of snazzy. I'm feeling kind of snazzy. Follow Sebastian. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Okay, you just gonna talk to me? While I'm trying to. All right, I guess I'm gonna I'm walk to cutscenes. <laughs> I'm walking to cutscenes. Hey, there was a there was an Accio page. It's right there. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. 
Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Oh, back up, bro. He sees. <laughs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. No, what was he that saw goblin you. doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Hey, yo, I gotta go. <laughs> it's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Oh my god. In the middle of a cutscene, though? Why? Why gotta be in the middle of a cutscene? It's all good. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Okay, then. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers. How did I get brought shortly. into this? I should have never Glad walked to out see the you store. To escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Yeah. I said... My friend They're all in deep. Busy. <laughs> one would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Can't be a creeper forever. <laughs> Over here, it's stalking me. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. <laughs> and on that note, I of think we should, should head back That to makes the castle. sense, right? Alright, you go out there. Hurry up, get out. Skedaddle, Sebastian. I'll come talk to you in a minute. <laughs> wow. Alright, so there's going to be a cut <laughs> in between. Um, but it's okay. You, you didn't really miss much. But, oh wow, that was that was a lot. That was a whole lot. But I'm, I'm chilling. But no, um, that was... That was pretty damn eventful, uh, eventful if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you know the drill. Uh, this was a hype-ass episode. There was a lot that went on. Especially with that last scene right there. Ranrock's here. We need to hurry up and get back to the castle. But, instead of me going ahead and sitting here and, and rambling and rambling and ramble, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. So, <laughs> yo, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every single time I post. Remember, it's absolutely free. If you're not enjoying my content, you can always change your mind later. And whether you're ready or not, that is the intro. That is not the outro. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace!